Hello and welcome to the Vegan Corner. This is the first recipe of our one pot pasta week. This interesting and very un-Italian cooking technique allows you to create stunning pasta dishes in literally minutes with a minimal amount of effort. The ingredient list is in the description below the video. The first thing to do is to put the water and the salt into a non-stick pan, place it over a high heat and bring the water to the boil. You could also tip in all the ingredients together, which would make sense considering the name of the recipe. However, we feel that by boiling the water first, the ingredients will cook much more evenly. Once the liquid reaches boiling point, you can tip in the pasta, the broccoli, the peas and bring to the boil once again. As soon as the liquid is back to boiling point, turn the heat down to medium and start counting the cooking time, which really depends upon the pasta you are using. The liquid should simmer for the duration of the cooking time. We are using a pasta that should cook for 9 minutes to get it al dente, but we are actually going to cook it for 11 minutes. This might sound counterintuitive, but as opposed to the standard cooking method, pasta cooked in this way takes longer to cook than it would on its own in plenty of boiling water, so cooking it for 1 to 3 minutes more than recommended on the packet is actually a good thing. During the cooking time, make sure to stir the ingredients 3 or 4 times in total, just to make sure that they get an equal amount of heat during the cooking process. My number one tip when it comes to this dish is to let it rest at the end of the cooking time. That's right, stir the ingredients, turn off the heat, cover the pan with the lid and let the pasta rest for 3 to 4 minutes before serving it. You might be wondering, won't this overcook the pasta? The answer is no. If all has gone as planned, you should be left with a glossy and shiny condiment created by the starch licked from the pasta and the remaining cooking liquid. This condiment is not enough to excessively hydrate the pasta and overcook it. Once the resting time is up, adjust salt to taste, sprinkle the pasta with some parsley if desired, stir one last time and serve. I know what you're thinking, another green ingredient? What can I say? I like this pasta dish the way it is, so don't complain, okay? There, I added some red chili flakes. Are you happier now? At this point you should have in front of you a beautifully cooked and healthy dish that we are sure will impress even the fussiest Italian guest. If you enjoyed today's video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up before moving on and subscribe if you haven't already. Many thanks for watching.